too. Good choice. Attention grabber. What else we need? Gotta get details. Details, oh yeah. Three. Hey, what's your thesis? Ooh, I gotta make a stance. Oh man. Man. It's tough. I think I can do it. You got this, man. Yeah. Hey guys, my name's Ryan Burley. I'm an American Lit teacher at East Hall High School, and I'd like to introduce you to uh, the East Hall Writing Cup. I've called it. Now this is a, a persuasive writing unit uh, I've created all themed around golf and what we're standing on right now is our actual golf course that I created uh, with my colleague to uh, do a little pers or peer review. Now we're standing at hole one which lines up with their introductory paragraph. Now each student was given a scorecard. See it right here. Now on the back of the scorecard is a little graphic organizer that explains what each part of a good introduction consists of. Now, as we walk the course, so students will play this after they have peer reviewed their teammates' writing. So teams are usually about four or five students and they have to take five minutes to peer review each other's essay and specifically for whole one, just the introduction. Now they're looking for their hook, their sporting details, and uh, their thesis statement. Now, after that five minutes is up, then they can play the course. Now hole one is a five par hole because there are five good parts to a, a good introduction. Now, like any good essay, the words, the paragraphs have to flow together. So just like that, our course flows right into hole two. Now hole two is our first supporting detail. Now, a good supporting uh, paragraph or good body paragraph consists of first your topic sentence, then you have your research details and transition words. Now, of course, for peer review, we also are looking at grammar and punctuation, so we include that here on the card as well. Now, again, we use that same format. They have five minutes to peer review uh, their teammates' work, and they're going to actually score it on their scorecard so that their partners know, hey, I might need to do a little work here on my paragraph if needed. Now, again, after five minutes, they can play the course. Now, after they're finished here, again, we flow right into our next sporting detail or your body paragraph two or paragraph three. Now, this is a par four, just like the previous hold, because there are four parts to a good body paragraph. Again, their topic sentence, their researched uh, and supported details, also their transition words, and again, grammar and punctuation. Now, this whole being an English teacher, we like everything to be supported and we like metaphors, so we created a stage here that uh, this is hole four on top of the stage, underneath flows uh, hole three. So, hole three actually supports hole four, just like a good. Uh, supporting details supports your essay and your stance. So they flow right into hole four. Again, they use the same structure to grade their essays. At five minutes before you can play, after five minutes is up, then they can actually play the course. Now, you finally get to hole five, which is our last hole of the course. And this is our conclusion. Now, this hole looks very simple, but it is actually quite difficult. Just like a conclusion, all students think, all I need to do is repeat my thesis, repeat my sporting details, and boom, my conclusion's done. Well, it needs to be a little bit more than that. And their scorecard actually says you have to have a call to action because it's a persuasive essay, so you should be persuading your reader. So now, once you've done that in your conclusion, you should persuade the reader to take action and do something about it. So this is the uh, East Hall Riding Cup. This is basically a five-station rotation that's souped up, made to look like a golf course, and can be used for just about any subject. All you need is creativity, a little collaboration, and an open-minded class, and this is successful. Thanks, guys.